Hi everyone, it's Happy Mail Queen. Today I thought we'd go ahead and do a DIY. I've been wanting to create some of the beaded garland that I've seen people uh, creating using Dollar Tree items. Um, and they're used for decorative purposes. Um, for home decor so that's why I got these beads from Hobby Lobby so this is what we're gonna need we're gonna need some um, wooden beads and you're gonna need some twine so um, I have the spool of twine here but it's in this pink rosy color so I might have to use this for my tassel and um, but I do have this jute also that I like the thickness of it and I think it's gonna be better to use the thicker jute to string um, but we'll see I have to just figure out what I'm gonna most likely I'm gonna use this for the tassel and probably this to string the beads um, and then at the end of the the garland I'm either gonna put a tag a wooden tag um, I don't know if this really would it's probably MDF um, or maybe the bunny that I had made because it already has a hole on it so I might attach this at the end of the garland I don't know yet maybe even these because this also has a hole already this is the one from Daiso so we'll see haven't quite figured it out but we're gonna go ahead and first start by painting these with our chalk paint and I I'm going to go ahead and use the Folk Art Home Decor Chalk Paint in matte white. And I'm not sure yet, but I might just do some of the beads in this um, serum coat. And it's called Touch of Pink. Um, so I can't remember where I got this, but the uh, chalk paint I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, this is a Dollar Tree item, and this is also from Hobby Lobby here. This is from Target. So you're also going to need something to wind your tassel with, and this is about three inches to wind your um, trim or your uh, jute twine. And then um, a palette, of course, or you know something to put your paint in, and then a, a brush. And then I saw somebody... Um, also using some dowel. Um, I have these chopsticks that I have, I got from my kitchen, and um, we're gonna go ahead and use that to string string the beads and paint, because um, they made it seem like it's easier that way to, um, also it'll, it's easier to let it dry evenly. So let's go ahead and start. So our first step is to paint the wooden beads. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the white paint and we're going to put the wooden beads through the chopstick and it'll be easier to hold the bead this way and I can just easily paint them. So again this is white chalk paint from Folk Art and since these are natural wooden beads um, it it was easy to paint them I didn't have to put too many coats um, so it did cover it pretty well I just made sure that I did paint the top and the bottom of the bead where you know where the, the little hole was um, but I didn't have to paint inside the hole so um, it was fine without having to do that and so what's nice about putting it on a skewer also is that once all the beads are painted you can just set this down on the, um, the paper plate and it'll just dry nice and even so you'll see once I set it down but th this did take some time. It probably took me about f maybe 15 minutes to um, paint everything because um, with the pink 
paint I did have to go over it a couple of times um, but you know again it wasn't too hard to paint them and so right here I just set it down on the plate and um, it, it wasn't touching the bottom okay and fast forward here I am painting more of the beads the last set of beads here actually with the pink paint and um, like I said this took me some time to do but I it was worth it okay so now we're gonna make our tassel so I wound the twine about I believe 50 times <laughs> I had plenty of this twine and I wanted my tassel to be nice and fluffy uh, so and you know the beads I am using are pretty big so it's probably about like three quarter inch um, size and there's plenty of tassel tutorials out there guys but you, you know you can just follow what I did here I just um, loosely made a knot in the top and then trimmed the bottom part and it, this did take some time because the twine is you know a little thick so make sure you give yourself plenty of time and then I just made sure that everything was even and I made a square knot at the top just to secure it and then I will put another piece of twine around and made sure that was nice and secure as well. Then I did trim one of the tails after I made a square knot and I left the other tail on there so I can just wrap it around giving it a nice band around the tassel and once I'm almost to the end I need to tuck in the end part of the tassel I mean the end part of the twine um, through that band that I just created so to make it easier I went ahead and used my needle to pull that through and then I just basically tucked that under so I didn't have to make a knot What's nice about twine is that um, it kind of sticks together, so um, you know it's, it shouldn't unravel. Next, I'm taking this thicker twine. We're gonna string our beads, starting with the white one and then the pink. And as you can see here, I am actually trying to cover this knot that. Is in the center because I joined two twine together my twine wasn't long enough and I really wanted to use this thicker jute twine so um, to cover the knot I just wanted to make sure that you know, the, the beads were covering the knot in the middle <laughs> so I put some beads you know from one end to the other end um, make sure that that metal part was covered and I strung uh, alternating the pink and the white if I hadn't said that already as you can see here and I strung about 21 beads all together once uh, you have the 21 beads strung then we're gonna make a knot on, at the end and then here I'm just putting a little bit of glue where I made that knot to tie the two twine together remember I had to make it longer so now we're gonna tie the ends and I just basically made a square knot I made, I made sure that it's nice and tight also and then we're gonna string seven more beads on the bottom part so basically it's gonna kind of look like a rosary um, 
and I kind of like it this way instead of you know making one long strand of beads um, bead garland um, I think you know you can just by creating that little loop <laughs> you can just hang it or um, you can easily put it like over a bottle so my camera stopped recording for some reason so I had made a knot and then I connected the tassel that I made through that knot so I basically tied a, a knot with the tassel through the knot at the end I hope that made sense so that I could connect the tassel and then the tail um, one of the tails I put back through the beads the seven beads um, you know at the bottom part and then the other tail I wrapped around so I hope you guys were able to follow me here so here I'm wrapping it around um, and just using some hot glue so that way I, I didn't have to make another knot or I didn't have to cut the twine I just wrapped it all around and that's pretty much it i end up just trimming a little bit at the end because i think i put a little too much glue but i love the way this uh beaded garland looks it's not so much of a garland i get well it's still a garland i just have that little loop um but i like it i think it came out really cute and then for the rest of the beads, I still had five more beads left. I made another tassel and I wound this up, let's say 40 times, I think. And I just repeated the process. I made sure I had plenty of twine um, so that I can string the leftover beads through there, through the top. And again, you know it's the same process I'm just basically making another tassel here and um, I'm just basically gonna make a, a small little tassel a beaded tassel um, with the leftovers here so I can still you know hang this on a smaller bottle um, for decoration so I I made sure I used up all the beads because I think it came out so cute and that's about it you guys like I said I'm just repeating what I did here making another tassel and wrapping that last end around to make a band and um, then tucking it in using my needle you know tucking it through the band and this was a really fun project and I've been seeing a lot of these beaded garland and I think everyone's garland comes out so cute whether you paint it or not um, it's just a, a nice little addition to you know your Easter decor so Again, I'm just stringing the beads here and I did a little something different after the last bead was strung um, just to secure it instead of like making a knot I, um, I put the tails I wrapped the tails um, back through the bead as you can see here so I'm basically just kind of wrapping the bead with the twine so I'm just putting it through under the hole the hole underneath and then pulling it through just wrapping it around and I just continue this until I have about six uh, of it around the bead and then I went ahead and just knotted the top to secure it and then I made one more knot um, at the top so that I can hang it and that's it 
that is my beaded garland. I hope you guys liked my little process video. And don't forget to leave me a comment. Thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to you guys later.